Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a journaling session. Instead of my normal journaling sessions though, this is actually a video hop. So there's going to be a theme to the page that I'm putting together today. I've wanted to do something like this for a long time. I just didn't get around to sorting it out until last month when I decided to just sit down and figure it out and figure out the logistics of it and who I wanted to be involved. So this is going to be a rainbow journaling hop. There's seven of us involved in it. So obviously one for each colour of the rainbow. I feel like the people that I've asked to be involved all have their own unique ways of journaling. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this little hop and getting to know some other creators as well as other journaling styles as well because I know that my journaling videos are very busy, very colourful and that's not always everyone's taste. So you might find someone else who inspires you or their style of journaling is a bit more up your street and you might want to give it a go. So yeah, everyone's going to have a link to the next person in the hop in the description. So once you are done watching my video and seeing how my page comes together, you can have a look in the description and there'll be a link to Meg's video because she is next in line. She is the green of the rainbow. But yeah, I have pulled out a load of yellow supplies that I have in my stash. I'm not necessarily going to use it all. I didn't really have any particularly yellow photos to journal, but I did have these ones of Bonnie when she went in Attractor for the first time. This was from 20. 19 so this is still me trying to catch up in my journal a bit <laughs> there's not really any yellow in the photos i found this scrap piece of paper with sunflowers on and it has a bit of green on it which kind of goes with some of the green in the photos so i'm trying to link it in in that way but most of the stuff i've got is yellow and hopefully i'll be able to use it i'm going to get started with it and i will speak to you again at the end of the video
so that is how my page has come together. I always find that when I am doing a page like this where I have a theme or I have like specific limitations so I've already pulled out the things that I need. It's always quicker to put a page together because I've like limited myself. I don't have the whole of my stash to rummage through. This page ended up being super quick to put together in comparison to some of my other ones and I think it is just down to that. So I think I'm definitely going to do that more often, just pull out random things and kind of just go this is it, this is what you got, make a page of it. In the background I started by putting some yellow watercolour down so that I've got like a main bit of yellow in there. I did then add some green blobs over the top of it. I added part of a paint sample card that I had which I actually cut in half because I didn't want all of it on there, it would have been too much in the background. I had these little sticker strips which were yellow so I've added one there and one up the top as well and then I just added a load of the yellow stickers. I used the flowers and I used a couple of hearts at the top as well. I wasn't going to title this page but then this kind of stood out to me. It's a little plastic word. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I suppose it's plastic ephemera but it just says beauty and then I've added the date below it. I did staple that on. I always find these difficult to attach. They do attach with double-sided tape but unless I've got a really busy or dark background I tend to not use double-sided tape because you can see the tape through a bit. If the background's dark you can't really see it. So I've just stapled that in which just means when I go to put a page on this side I'll probably put a piece of like paper or something at the top to cover the back of the staples so they don't scratch anything. I also did spatter a bit of paint, some green paint as well in the middle just to kind of busy it up a bit in there. And then last of all I drew two black lines at the top and the bottom. Just felt like it needed it so I added it. But yeah that is how my yellow journaling page has come together. As I said at the start I will have a link to Meg's video who is green in the rainbow and then from her video you'll be able to find the blue person in the rainbow and so on and so on. So once you make it back to my video you'll know that you have finished the hop. Definitely check out all of their social media, they are such creative ladies and I've known them all quite a long time now. I'd love to know what colour you would choose if you had to do a journaling page using just one colour as the main colour. I might do this again in the future and choose a different colour for myself but I had to go with yellow as the first one because that just wouldn't, wouldn't have made sense if I didn't. I hope you enjoyed a bit of a different video this week. Thank you all so much for watching and of course a special thank you to my patrons who have supported me this month. If you're on any of the tiers then your name will be on the screen now. I think this month it's a smashbook session and an art journaling session that I'll be posting over on there. So if you want to see those then you can join the video tier. And you'll also unlock all of the other videos I've posted on there as well already. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.